Hey there, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Up next from 20th Century Fox in 1949, a tale of faith, hope, and most of all, tenacity. Loretta Young and Celeste Holmes star in Come to the Stable. The story is set in Bethlehem. Bethlehem, USA, that is, a small town in New England. That's where two French nuns show up with the idea of building a children's hospital. They don't have a plan, they don't have any money, and in many ways they don't have a clue how to get this done, but that does not stop the nuns from forging ahead. The script is based on a story by writer and future U.S. Congresswoman Claire Booth Luce. Luce, a recent convert to Catholicism, was inspired to write her story by a real-life incident where two nuns transformed a New England factory into an abbey. The idea of making a movie so heavily focused on Catholics did give the studio some pause, but across town, Paramount had seen huge success with a couple of similarly themed movies, Going My Way and The Bells of St. Mary's, which featured Bing Crosby playing a priest. And that was enough incentive for Fox to greenlight this story. For Fox studio chief Daryl F. Zanuck, there was only one real choice to play the lead. Loretta Young was beautiful, she was talented, and most of all, she was one of Hollywood's most visible and most devout Catholics. When offered, Young jumped at the chance to play the lead in the film, which turned out to be both a popular and critical success, earning seven Oscar nominations, including a Best Actress nod for Loretta Young. From 1949, also featuring Hugh Marlowe and Elsa Lanchester, Come to the Stable. <laughs> ¶¶